WPLG Local 10 News. A multi-million dollar project to revamp downtown Miami is well underway. The museum campus will house a new science and art museum. Local 10 Sasha Andrade joins us live from the construction site. We're excited for this uh, preview you're going to give us. Yeah, this is a really big deal. If you commute onto or off of the beach, then you know there's been stuff going on. And we've been working with the art museum, and they uh, have showed us an inside sneak peek. Take a look. You can see some of the construction going on behind me. And uh, there's a lot of stuff going on. There's a hidden gem just past Biscayne Boulevard, almost tucked beneath the MacArthur Causeway. It's a 29-acre corner lot that faces downtown Miami and the port. Wondering what all this construction's about? Here's a sneak peek. We're standing in a space that's a mock-up of the scale of one tiny little piece of one of our major gallery spaces. It may not look like it now, but soon this will be a state-of-the-art museum. This will be the first time that Miami has a major public art museum to call its own. And Tom Collins' goal is to make you fall in love with the place. This is a, a spectacular site. While art museums aren't known for being major money makers, he expects to generate 12 to 15 million dollars for the area in the first year alone. We are bringing people into the downtown who will shop and eat and park. How? Location, location, location. Clump the arena, the Adrian Arsh Center, Jungle Island, and a couple of museums. Flopper. At Wynwood and Art Basel, and voila. The idea, of course, is to be much more accessible, to really be an anchor uh, for the downtown. But will it work? That much is still anybody's guess. At the very least, Collins can guarantee it'll be worth a look. All right, and the two buildings will be side by side here. One is the art museum, the other is the science museum. Of course, you have Jungle Island across the way, you have the Adrian Arsh Center, you have so many different things in this one location, and the hope is to draw as many people as possible to our downtown area. So very exciting for people across South Florida. Back to you. I love that location, just perfect there. When does it open, Sasha? Well, we still have a little bit of a way, 2013. So you're going to watch this construction go up and up, but at least now you know what's happening inside this area. Oh, it'll okay. go by so fast. Mm -hmm. Sasha, thanks.